Shalom. Shalom. Or as uh, my uh, my forefathers would say, Kaoki wa ba ya kaoki wa ba ya shalom ahaba barak. Kaoki means greetings and a good new day. I'm sorry, ba ya kaoki wa means greetings and a good new day. Kaoki means hello. Okay, so I I only had um. Two scriptures I can bring out because I don't have any memory on my phone. So I want to bring out two scriptures because we're going to go first and foremost. Double honors to the elder apostles, the prophets, and the teachers at GMS that are bringing, bringing out this 100% truth, which is going to bring me into this class. That 100% truth. That 100% truth is what's, what, what we're talking about today. And if you saw my previous class, yes, this is natural grape soda. Oh, man. All praises. All praises. It actually tastes more raisiny, but I think that we can get different grapes and it'll taste different. The, 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 the green grapes taste a little bit more like grape soda. Anyway, the, the purple ones taste more like raisin soda. <laughs> but it's really good stuff. It's just so good. It's so good. Anyway. Let's get into it. Nathaniel, you're wavering again to the right and to the left. How many times are you going to change your doctrine? So, first and first, first, first things first, he's got the MOTB. He's changed that five, six times. We all know that. That's, that's old news. Then, he's got hell doctrine now. Hell doctrine. Hold on. There's more. Nate, damn. There's more. What else could there possibly be? Nate said uh, that um, 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 in the Old Testament, Yahweh and Yahweh are the same person. Now, it's been proven. I'm just going to paraphrase it because, like I said, I'm going to run out of time. I've got a couple of scriptures that I do want to bring out, but I'm going to paraphrase it. When Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, do you guys not understand who Isaac was? Isaac is Yahweh. So when Yahweh spoke, he, he didn't come off his throne. Of course not. He sent an angel down to speak in his name. So clearly clarifying, just perfectly clarifying, not clearly clarifying, I'm sorry, I sound stupid saying that, but perfectly clarifying that there was a separation of people. Also, when Yahweh Shai was baptized by John the Baptist, hold on, oh, that's a, that, that's a good day right there. So when Yahweh Shai was baptized by John the Baptist, remember, he rose up out of the water. And whose voice did we hear? It said, My son who I am greatly pleased. I know that's in the New Testament, but it's just um it's just confirming. It's just confirming that in the Old Testament, if Yahweh has to make his verse voice heard, it's gonna be heard. Now now I can't say, well, it was him or an angel that he sent on either occasion. The, 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 the reason why is because I'm down here on earth. His thoughts and his actions are higher than my thoughts and actions. So I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to pretend on that level. I only can go by what the scriptures say. And if the scriptures said, my son, I'm going to have to believe that it was Yahweh who spoke out loud. He doesn't have to come off his throne to do anything. That's what you guys don't understand. Now, the two scriptures I did want to bring out about you, Nate, because you also said that Paul took the MOTB. You might as well go join Sakari. You and Sakari are in unison. Sakari said Paul's writings don't belong in the New Testament. I mean, honestly, him taking the MOTB is the same as saying that his writings don't belong in the New Testament. 
78% of the New Testament is Paul's writing. So the thing is, is like, listen carefully, people. He's sneak dissing. He's saying that he took the MOTB, so when it's time, you guys will take the MOTB. So, bring me to that first scripture that we need to reference immediately. And it is Revelation 13, and we're going to start at verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save you that have the mark, or the name, or the number of the beast, or the number of his name. So if you can't figure out that it's saying that you can't buy, sell, or trade unless you receive the mark. Now we've told you a thousand plus times that the word mark in 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 in, in um, the um, I think it was in, at this time it was in the Roman or Greek, whatever it was, Greek or Roman, pretty much the same. It means karagwan. And the karagma is administered by what? The karax. The karax is a syringe. Karagma, when you do the etymology on the word, et, uh, for, for the lack of, I, I, for, for all the dummies out there, I'm going to make it as very simple as possible. The word etymology means eta, true, mology, meaning. The true meaning of the word. The true origin of the word. So when you say karagma, it means subdermal implant of a foreign object uh, beneath the skin. And you know, I found that once word for word. And I can never pull it up on this computer again. The computer said, oh shit. And it buried it so deep. I've been searching for two years just to find it again, just so I can prove that it said that. Just so I can prove it said that. You know what? I don't I think that they removed it from the internet. I really honestly do. Why would I make shit up? I ain't got a lot of kick with no, but I got fucking anything and everything I want. The most already blessed me. He blessed me to bring out this truth. Everything I ever wanted was to understand this Bible. So when you think, oh, he said he got everything he ever wanted. Yeah, all I wanted was understanding. And to, you know, like any other person would be able to protect their family. But through this understanding, I'm able to protect my family. So let's jump forward to that, that the, the last couple of scriptures I need to bring out immediately. So Revelation chapter 14, starting at verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, uh, who is that? Who, who's, who's the new deacon in IUIC? Yawasop? Yeah, you said that this is all... I don't know what the fuck you said because I don't watch your shit. I got to hear from the other prophets because I wouldn't want anybody in my family to accidentally walk out of here and think I was fucking listening to you. Even if I was taking notes, you moron. You are a dummy and the Most High is going to deal with you and he's going to deal with you. Well, let's see how he's going to deal with you. Let's see how he's going to deal with you. Saying, and with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, and his image, or his 501c3, motherfuckers, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without, with, it was just poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out into the cup of his indignation. Did you get that? He's not going to... So, I have all these shots right here. So, if I pour out a shot right now, I'm going to grab a shot. I pour it out. If I don't put a mixer in it, that's a strong shot. Depending on how big it is, I might not be able to handle it. Do you understand that? So he's going to pour out his shot against all of you fucked up motherfuckers that won't teach the truth, Nate. And your your time is coming. And you know it. 
He already warned you. He almost killed your ass. And you said, Yahawabahashim Yahushai. And as soon as you said it, you got better. And then you said, when I said, Yahawabahashim Yahushai, they all got goosebumps. You thought you were the king again. He, you're, ooh, I cannot speak against you harshly because the Most High did put you in a position just like he put Saul in a position. And I'm not in the position to say, well, Nate's this or that. What I can say is I know what I see, and it brings me to the rest of this scripture and then the last scripture I want to bring out. So, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall torn, he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to go down in front of everybody. Okay, so let's get to that last couple scriptures I want to go and bring out. So let's go to the book of Job, chapter 15. Book of Job. That's right, Nate. We're going to the book of Job. You better be ready. I, I'm sad because I, I, I'm sad because Nate seems like he'd be like one of the greatest leaders, and he always turns his back on the truth, and and takes money over truth, and it hurts. It hurts to see somebody that has so much knowledge to be deceived so easily. It only took 150 million dollars. You know, I don't have nothing, never had anything, and I would rather, and I've given money back so many times. It's not hard to hand it back. It's what's hard is to keep it and know that you've sinned. All right, so last scriptures, last scriptures, this is last two, 15 and 6. Job chapter 15 and verse 6. If you guys have a Bible or a internet, or um, um, uh, however, to go online with your phone, Let's go to Job 15 and 6 and read it together. Nate, why don't you come out here and get on your stupid fucking phone and read it with us too. Put your Gucci's back on. You used to wear these shitty cheap glasses like me, but now you got the Gucci's. That's cool though. That's cool. I mean, I probably get some Gucci's too with $150 million. Except for I wouldn't take $150 million to lie to people and say the name of Yahweh Shai is not. The name Yahweh Bahashim Shai is not determined. You've got a price to pay. And because you keep changing your doctrine, and because you keep speaking against the, the children of Israel, and because you keep calling GMS bum camp, what's going to happen to you? Job 15 and 6. Let's read it together. Thine own mouth condemneth thee. Ooh. And not I... I haven't said nothing against you. I said, I wish you would just stop lying. The true prophets know you're lying. And I'm a disciple of the true prophets, so I also know you're lying. So, your own mouth condemneth thee, not I. Yea, thy own lips testify against thee. Every time you change your doctrine, every time you talk a lie against Paul, or you say a lie against GMS, call him the bum camp, but you... So, why did you spend so much time with Elder Apostle Tahar learning the truth if he's a fucking bum? And you know what? I got one last scripture for that. I got one last scripture and I'm out. Why did you decide that Elder Apostle Tahar was a bum, but you took all of his knowledge? Oh, this stupid bum, but I'm going to learn everything from him and then go out and talk shit about him and get paid to gaslight the truth. Okay, let's get it. This is Revelation chapter 22 and 12, my most favorite fucking verse in the Bible at this day and age, and it reads, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Nate, you're a liar. You've added to and taken away from the scripture. So we got to get that also. Verse, jump forward to verse 18. For as testifying to every man that heareth the word of, of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, if any man shall 
add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues which are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. I hope you understand. You're a leader. You have thousands of camp members. You have money in the bank. I am just a humble servant of Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai wearing a sackcloth with nothing. But I do know the truth. And the truth is, I'm warning you, you're about to get judged. And with that being said, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, listen to this. Listen to this very carefully. Shalom.